Hey guys, I'm Felix, and the Chinese language uses a lot of metaphors to say different things. In particular, we have the word to eat. This one is a very, very good one to use in metaphors. And there are so many different examples that I can give you here, and so many different words together with this to eat then. But I've narrowed it down to 10 different expressions using this little So let's get started. So starting off the list, we have the word eating a melon in a crowd. Well, obviously, if you don't understand what that means, you can see me doing it here as well. And what this refers to now is that you're just standing in a crowd and you're eating a melon and you're basically very ignorant of the outside world, what's going on around you. You're eating a your melon, you're doing your own thing. Mm. So instead of calling someone ignorant next time you see someone, you can just give them, you can just hand them a melon instead and you're good to go. Hopefully they'll understand it. Tell her to watch this video though and they might appreciate your melon a little bit more though. Now if you're eating perfume instead, this is something very good. It's the opposite then. And this actually refers to you being very popular. Whoa! 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 <laughs> so if you don't have any friends now, just buy some perfume and eat all of it. And I'm sure you'll be very fine, very popular, very soon. In Chinese, we pronounce this like Now something that wouldn't taste as good is probably vinegar. If you eat vinegar now instead, this also means something, but a bit different, probably the complete opposite here. It has a very sour taste to it, so it's just like if someone was cheating on you. It's that same sour taste here. So this one is pronounced and it actually means to be jealous at someone. Oh, so if you're planning on cheating on your partner, just make sure that the house that you're living in together doesn't have any vinegar or else, um, yeah, there won't be any left. Next one now is fan, which means to eat uh, white rice or plain rice, we can translate it to as well. This is what you do when you can't, you can't feed yourself, so you start eating off of other people's plates as well. Um, you just want to make it through the day, basically. So eating plain rice uh, literally means to, uh, to, well, to eat plain rice then, but in this context it means to live off of other people, as you can see here. <laughs> in my head it looked a lot better, but the idea is that Xin here uh, didn't have any money so she lived off of me and I was working very, very hard. Hopefully I didn't have to explain it even. Now if your partner here is a woman and you can't sustain yourself and keep your life together, then what we can call you then is a soft man. So instead of eating plain rice now, you eat soft men need soft rice. So we just call it eat soft rice, ran fan. And this means to, uh, it needs to be a man and he, meet, he needs to live off of a woman. And usually actually a mistress, but we can go into that in another video. Basically just a man who can't feed himself, so he lives off of a woman. And that is churang fan, soft rice. Churang fan. <laughs> 